So we are here in Thailand and we are about to have some food at a street market which I haven't done in seven months here in Chiang Mai. Let's go. I put some more sauce on it this time. Is it mung bean? No. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, but if I knew it was going to be like this, I probably would have got the pork. So if you don't know, we actually lived in Chiang Mai for about six months at the beginning of last year in 2022. We actually came here in one of my videos and I honestly can't recognize this place right now. Okay, there is so many more things here than what was here last time at all. I'm happy everything's back now. Uh, Michael was telling me last time we were here, he was so surprised at how quiet it was. And I can see what he means now. I can see why he was so surprised because now it's busy and com in comparison. We're actually eating here. This is the Night Bazaar Night, night Market Food Center. I was gonna check it out to so Josie because all of this was locked up and there was nobody in here but a security guard last time we came. This was all abandoned and where we're about to eat actually was fully shut down, like fully shut down. So even though I spent a lot of time here in Thailand, I haven't actually seen or been to or eaten at this market yet at all, considering it was closed the last time we were here. So I'm really excited to see what we can find and what kind of food is here in this one. There's not many markets in Thailand I haven't been to. Well, Chiang Mai. But I haven't been to this one. So while, I'm um, gonna be honest, it's still quite quiet, but before it was shut down. So at least it's starting to come back, even if it is a bit slow, or maybe we're early. I think we're early. We are early today, but this was all shut down. I remember it, it was dark, no one was here, and seeing it coming a little bit more to life is really cool. So enough of that, I need to get straight into the food. I'm hungry, it is way past my dinner time. So this is Plon Rudy, I think. And Michael says that this was the first place he ever had street food, place, first place, or night market he ever went to. So I haven't actually had a look at what there is, but I feel like that's takioki. We've got some pork knuckle or pork leg there or something. Um, potato. I think that's, I don't know what that is, but we've got gelato over here. So it looks like a whole bunch and a mix of things. And there's a whole bunch of seating on the, on the inside. So there's definitely somewhere to sit. Sometimes when you come to time markets, there's not enough seats for people. But this one looks pretty good, but we are here early. So it might fill up later on. I'm excited. I, I'm, it's not often I come to a new market. Normally we're going back to the same ones. So I'm excited. That is the biggest durian I've ever seen in my life. Oh, got some fruit. That fruit was 40 baht. I don't think I'd pay more than 20 for fruit. <laughs> that looked like pork, beef ribs, or pork ribs. There's skewers, there's corn. There's always corn at Thai markets. So I've been in Thailand for probably a total of eight months. <clears throat> The cooking, <laughs> the smoke. Um, so I'm not gonna pretend like I haven't had most of these foods before. I think if I'm looking around, I've had most of them in the past. I love when they do that. They cook it on that like, that pan and like you get the like bean sprouts and stuff. So I have had most of these things before. So I'm not gonna pretend like I haven't, but I do wanna see what they have. Oh, there's a mango shake. Do you want to? Yeah. Would that be like a lassi? Like a, a mango lassi, kinda? Thank you. Chocolate whipped cream and... Cream and mayo. Mango, 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 sticky rice, and coconut milk at the bottom. Up nah. to you. I can't just want the normal one. Michael's allergic to whipped cream, so we can't have that. Thank so, what do you have? Uh, mango rice. Mango rice. Mango sticky rice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. Oh, it's sticky. Mm -hmm. Slicing up. Watching them cut it up. Guys, I love mango. I think mango is one of my favorite foods. Oh, that was quick. Is it mung bean? No. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, thank you. Tower acre? Pock sip 60. Yeah. Yeah. We had a little casual tea. There was a bug that flew in it, so I'm not going to eat that half. But anyway, so we have, we have a whole bunch of sticky rice coated with the sweet milk sauce with mung beans and the mango. Let's see if it's soft enough to pass the mango sticky rice test not the softest mango that I've ever eaten into. Some of them like melt in your mouth. It's not really like that, but honestly, it's a juicy mango, it tastes so good. I don't know why I'm always like, is this gonna mango gonna be nice? Fruit's always nice in Thailand. We actually went to Bangkok and had one in the most popular places to have mango sticky rice there. Basically this one's 60 baht, that one was 100 baht each. Yeah. It's good for 60, I'll tell you that. You don't need to spend 100. So as I've said, I've had basically everything here before, but something over here has caught my interest. It's called Thai steak. I don't think I've had that before, so let's go see. Chicken steak, pork chop steak, and beef steak. Hmm. Oh, Can I get a, a chicken steak, Mung? Oh, wow. Chai, ka. Okay. Uh, 10 minutes. Yeah, my pen right. Ka. 
Uh, yes, check. So there's a lady in the stroll and she just yelled, yelled out to me and she said, I've seen you on TikTok. And I was like, oh, hi. Grilled bazaar. And then papaya salad up there as well. I'm seeing lots of like foreign things. Like there's pizza back there, like Michael said. There's kebabs, there's gyoza. So there's a lot of things that aren't obviously necessarily Thai. Like there's cheesy fries and burgers down there. So there's a lot of things that I kind of want Thai food. But I don't want cow soy. It's too spicy for me and I don't feel like soup tonight. All right, I've been all around. There's Mexican, there's Pad Thai. The Pad Thai was 90 baht. My local man that I normally go to, his is like 60 baht. So it's paining me to have to pay 90. Um, but I'm going to get some chicken satay first, I think. So let's see what we have here. So I did her. Uh, she gets the set one, set two. Set one. Set one, set two, small, medium, large, keep the and Set. And, potato and bread. Can I get just chicken satay? Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, medium. Medium. Chai ka. Oh, for me? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't expect him to give me a full chopping board of stuff. It's almost like, it's almost like half a tree. Can you see? I panic bought and got the chicken because it was only 99 baht. The other one was like uh, 200 baht. Um, but if I knew it was gonna be like this, I probably would have got the pork. It seems like you get you get a lot. He's given me, what's this, like mayonnaise? Is that pineapple? Pineapple maybe? That looks like chili sauce and those looks like two other sauces. With a mixed leaf salad. And then you've got the chicken steak with like, I don't know, like a sauce, a marinade or something? I don't know. I didn't really expect it <laughs> to be this big. And I got chicken skewers too, so I wish I got pork, but. It is what it is. It's expensive here. Yeah, that's what I was saying. It's expensive though. I saw like, like I said, I was going to get Pad Thai. But the Pad Thai was like 90 baht. Mm -hmm. And we've been having like real local food since we've been in Chiang Mai. So we've been paying like 50, 60 baht for meals. If you're just coming for a holiday, 90 baht for Pad Thai is not expensive. But I feel like when we live here for so long and we're traveling for a long time, it's hard to justify, hard to justify, paying, twice justify paying twice the price in a market rather, rather than around the corner. So this is the chicken skewers. I feel like that's going to be spicy. 10 skewers 80 baht the chicken's really soft the sauce is good not spicy i didn't know it i really like it actually do you have coke zero uh, yes coke yeah. zero how strong 50 please with uh ice is that okay yeah. yen Okay, it is so much busier than when we first got here. It's well and truly alive, and it's well and truly packed with tourists. I know we're one of them, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna get stuck into this big Thai-style chicken steak. Never heard of that before. I think it's just grilled chicken, but let's try it. Yeah, it's spicy. <coughs> it's actually really nice. I kind of really like it. It's soft, it's like crispy in a good, like where the crisp tastes good, if that makes sense. Like, almost like glaze. That smells like barbecue sauce. The sauce is a bit spicy. Well, you can see the spice on that. You see the chick chili yeah. flakes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, if you're sort of like a first timer or a new tourist, that would be a good market for you. If you're sort of after an authentic local experience with local prices, probably not for you, but in saying that, it's still probably good to go to every now and again um, if you can afford it because the selection and the range was awesome. There was a Kind of a bit of everything. So one twenty baht or three fifty baht. Let's get a couple. Twenty. Uh, yisi. Yisi baht. Yisi baht. Yisi baht. Yisi Is it real? No. Uh, BB gun. <laughs> oh, BB gun. So this has kind of turned into a Chiang Mai has changed, <laughs> or kind of video. I don't know. But it's crazy to see the difference as to where it was when I I got here a year and a bit ago as to what it is now. Um, we actually are running a little bit behind, and Michael has a haircut. With the best barber in Chiang Mai. With the best barber in Chiang Mai, we're gonna give you the secret. Yeah, he's the best. So I'll get a haircut, you go find yourself some dessert. Sound yeah. good? All right, so we've made it to the Niman side of Chiang Mai, which is where we always kind of stay. Michael's gonna get his haircut. I'll show you that in a second. But I'm off to get this dessert, just to kind of show you what you can get here in Niman as well. Um, it's really popular. So let's see what this box toast place has. It is super busy right now, and there's a line all down back here and everyone's outside too. So I did care. Uh, do you have Milo Yen? Milo? Wow. Milo? Milo? Yen? No. no. Oh, tea. Oh, oh, cocoa? Cocoa? Cocoa Yen. Yeah, chai, ka. A cup of ka. Thank you. Oh, thank you. There was no iced Milo, but there was an iced cocoa, so I got that. So let's see how this goes. So it's obviously not going to be like Milo, but... 
Not bad, very chocolatey. But this is a strawberry toast with butter. Altogether, I spent 85 baht, so a couple of dollars. Um, very popular here, I can't believe it. But it's just toast with butter and <laughs> strawberry. Oh, okay. Look, super basic. It's nothing to write home about, but it's, but it's pretty delicious. Now, Michael's out getting his hair cut. He says it's the best barber he's ever had, and he does say that this is the best place to come in Chiang Mai. If you want a sort of all of our like hidden tips and tricks, make sure you sign up in the link in the description bar below. Put your email in, and you'll be notified when I do release something that's going to give you all of our little hidden gems. And you might get a cheeky discount too, so make sure you leave your email from the link in the bottom below. And let's quickly go see. Michael's hair. But that's it for this video about food in Chiang Mai, Thailand. If you like this video, make sure you press like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.